Travis. Hey, John, thanks. Um, I wanted to follow up on the UAP group that Deputy Secretary Hicks um, recently created because there was some significant movement on Capitol Hill about it. Um, is that group currently active in collecting and analyzing data from the services? Or if it's not, is there some timeline of when it's expected to be fully stood up and, uh, and operational? You know, Travis, I can't sit here and tell you for sure that there's, like, been an initial kickoff meeting. I mean, this, the deputy secretary did launch the, and established this group, and we talked about it last week, I think. Um, so it is active. It is — it's a real thing. I mean, when the deputy secretary signs out a memo establishing a group, then it is established. But I don't have an update for you today on sort of what the battle rhythm is and how they're um, — how they're uh, getting their arms around this. It's important to remember, it's not like this is a, it's not like it's a board of directors, but it, it, it's really about a process through which we can better collect reports, assess them, analyze them, uh, and then uh, make recommendations to policymakers as a result of them. That, so uh, I want you to think more process and procedure and less about it being some sort of stationary uh, a stationary, you know, a group that uh, that uh, sits in an office somewhere and and, uh, and has daily meetings. It's it's really about making sure that we are doing a better job at collating the information. As you know, it was um, prior to this kind of coming in sporadically um, from uh, mostly from from pilots in the Navy and the Air Force, and um, and there wasn't a common set of rules and procedures for how that information was being taken in and and analyzed. If I could just follow up on it, because um, there is legislation on the Hill that deals with how it would be collected and who would do the collecting. So I'm wondering about, you know, the department is very is vast. What are the mechanisms that DOD is using to collect this information? Are there actual individuals that go out and get it? Or are individual units, all the units within the department being educated on how it should be collected and how it should be filed? Can you talk at all about how that work is being done? Yeah, I mean, I think um, I think as it, as we talked about when we rolled out this group, um, they they will be focusing on proactively identifying objects. So how that's going to be done, I don't know. Uh, and they've just recently been established, but it's um, it's it's about trying to again actively identify objects rather than just focusing on objects that were already observed but not identified. So, again, what that's going to look like, I don't know. Um, clearly, they're still going to be interested in reports that are organic and are coming in uh, just intrinsically from pilots that see things that they can't identify. So, I mean, my supposition would be that it'd be a little bit of both. You know, trying to find ways to, as I said, more proactively identify objects, but also taking in reactive reports that we get from aviators. Okay, let me uh, go to the phones here.